Hey everyone, this is Fizz from Geekar. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add Angular material in your ASP.NET Core Angular Spy application. So first, you have to have the Spy templates installed in your system. To do that, you can just run this .NET new command to install all the available Spy templates from ASP.NET Core. And once you have installed these templates, you can just uh, use one of the templates available. So you will say dot net new to see what kind of templates you have right now to work with. So I have this angular template, then react template, then react redux templates. Okay. So if I want to create a new application using this angular application template, I can just simply say dot net new angular. Okay. And it will create a angular application and configure ASP.NET Core for the backend. So I have already created our application using this template. So it is uh, in my angular spa folder. And if I open this folder right now, you can see that I have this basic skeleton uh, ready for me. So all of my angular uh, scripts will go under this client app then app folder and then again I have this controllers folder to create some uh, ASP.NET Core MVC controllers then I have some www root folder where I have some distributed um, scripts and CSS files okay uh, fantastic now I have to install the angular material and angular CDK uh, package from npm to do that you can just uh, say npm install then define the safe flag and say angular slash material and you also have to install the angular cdk so you will say angular dash cdk so once you have installed this you have to configure it under this folder which is webpack dot config dot vendor dot js okay so i have already run this uh, npm command in my application and i have this packages installed in my application so if you go to package dot json file you can see that uh, if your packages are installed or not so if you define the safe flag your packages will register uh, itself in here under this dependencies node so I have this angular CDK as you can see and again I have this angular material okay fantastic now I have to uh, define the angular material package under this tree shakeable modules array uh, since uh, this is a angular package uh, it is tree shakeable so uh, if you know you have a package that is uh, tree shakeable uh, you have to define it here other than this if you know that your package doesn't doesn't support tree shake uh, tree shaking you can just specify them in here okay so I know my angular material uh, package is tree shakeable so that's why I'm gonna say define it under this array so angular slash material okay fantastic and other than this I have to uh, as you can see we are using bootstrap by default but we don't want to install bootstrap we want to uh, uh, use the angular material one of the themes of angular material so I know that uh, one of the theme called deep purple amber theme is available under this angular slash material slash pre-built uh, themes slash deep purple and then amber okay dot CSS so I'm pretty much done here so uh, right now I have to, I am uh, letting this boost up as it uh, as it is uh, defined in here cause uh, I have the I have a sidebar in my application which is created using bootstrap so if I remove this bootstrap 
uh, my application will lose it, lose its look and feel that's why i am uh, letting it go here but uh, when you are developing application from scratch using this angular material you should always remove this bootstrap from your application that uh, because it can conflict with your angular material css files right so once i am uh, done here i have to run this webpack command so i'm gonna say webpack then i'll say the config file in this case my config file is webpack.config.vendor.js that's why i am specifying this config flag here so i'm gonna say webpack dot config dot vendor dot js okay so if i run this command now you can see uh, all of my vendor scripts and vendor css file will bundle up in a single file and it will be uh, sent to this dub 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 folder and under the distribution folder you can find this that we have a vendor.css file and we have a vendor.js file right so fantastic uh, and now you can use all of the components from angular material so let me go to my f folder and i'll go to this counter component uh, and i'll go to this counter.component.html right now i can use this uh, theme in here so i can just say um, if i want to uh, add a material look and feel to this button right here i can just say mat raised okay then it is a button and it will have a color of the primary uh, primary color right so primary okay so i'm pretty much done here but i didn't import the material modules in my application so a last thing i have to do is to go to this app.module.share.ts file and since i am using the material buttons i have to import the materials button module here so for that i'm gonna say import and then i'll say import from uh, I should import from this angular material package and I want to import if I if you just hit control space it will give all the available options so mat button module right so I want to get the mat button module so mat button module okay so I have this uh, imported in my um, application now i have to specify it in this imports array so to do that i'm gonna say mat button modules please import this module under my imports array okay so i am pretty much done here done here uh, i'm again gonna run this webpack config.vendor.js since i didn't save this file earlier so uh, remember always to save this and then run this command right so as you can see all of my uh, things are installed and you will get some warning but don't be so confused with these warnings okay so uh, these warnings are only appearing because since you are using SSR which is server-side rendering in your application some of the packages under this angular material uses this document object but when you are using server-side rendering you can't access this document object on your window object okay uh, that's the caveat of using server-side rendering other than this everything will be all right so I'm pretty much done here now if I run this application right now so if I say dot net run it will run my application on port 5000 I guess so let me give it some time uh, as you can see it is restoring packages and it is ready to go if I now copy these things from here and go to my browser and paste it in my address bar my application will run 
and as you can see these styles are all coming from bootstrap but um, if you are uh, using angular material and you are also developing an application from scratch you should always remove this bootstrap styles okay so if i go to counter as you can see i have this material button right here okay so that's cool uh, again i can add different components from angular material so if i want to uh, add a checkbox uh, from angular material I can just say that matte or should I say if I want to use the slide toggle I can say slide matte slide toggle okay then I have to bind it with a model so let me say ng model okay and my model name is let's say for example is enabled right so is enabled okay best fantastic and now I have to pass a label for this toggle button okay and that's fantastic yeah since I add a ng model here I have to specify it in my type script file which is component which is counter dot component dot ts so if I go there and say that I have this variable called let's define it as a public variable is enabled and by default it will set to true okay so by default it will uh, the slide toggle will be enabled okay so that's fantastic and now since I use the toggle component here I also have to import it here so it is a matte toggle module I guess matte toggle slide toggle module okay so since I import it here I also have to specify it right here specify it right here right okay I'm gonna say save uh, let me check if I miss something no I didn't missed anything uh, my application is already running and if I refresh this application right now as you can see my slide toggle component is here so you can play with it and uh, do whatever you like so that is how easy it is to add angular material in your sp.net core angular spy application and use different components from angular material so that's it i hope you like this video share subscribe and do whatever you like okay i'll see you in the next video bye